All right, in this video, I'm going to do a few more examples about finding the reference angle. And in this case, I'm going to find the reference angle for some angles that are originally given to us in radian measure. All right, so uh, let's find the reference angle for, we'll start off here with 5 pi over 6. I'm going to do the same thing as before and just kind of try to sketch these. Okay, so if we went halfway around, uh, so we know we're going counterclockwise since we're using positive angles. Remember, the whole distance around would be 2 pi. If we go halfway, we would say that's pi radians. Um, pi over 2 would put us at the top. So 5 pi over 6 is going to be somewhere here in quadrant, uh, in quadrant 2. Again, and you can kind of convert. You know, If you think about pi over 2, if you multiply top and bottom, if you make it into a denominator of 6, uh, you could multiply the numerator by 3 and the denominator by 3. That would give us 3 pi over 6. So I know uh, 3 pi over 6 puts me at the top. Um, equivalently, pi would be, well, 6 pi over 6. So I know 5 pi over 6 is somewhere there in between uh, the positive y-axis and the negative x-axis. So again, though, all I'm trying to find is this reference angle, which is this little angle in between here. So had we gone all the way, we would have been 6 pi over 6, but we didn't quite make it that far. So I'm going to subtract away 5 pi over 6. Well, 6 pi minus 5 pi is 1 pi over 6. And we would say that is the reference angle for the angle 5 pi over 6. We would simply say uh, the reference angle for 5 pi over 6 is just 1 pi over 6. Let's see, um, 11 pi over 4. Usually, uh, especially, what I like to do is make these into mixed numbers. So this is 11 over 4 pi. Well, let's see, 11, 4 goes into 11 two times with 3 left over. So 11 over 4 is a mixed number. We can make that 2 and 3 fourths pi. Well, again, one trip around, we would have gone 2 pi radians. Um, at the top of the circle, if we made it to the top, that would be 2 and another 1 half pi, or pi over 2. If we made it all the way to the x-axis, we would have gone a distance of 3 pi. So I know that 2 and 3 quarters is somewhere here in the middle. Okay, so this is 2 and 3 quarters pi. But again, I just want this little angle here in between. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to simply subtract. I'm going to take 3 pi and subtract away 2 and 3 fourths pi. Um, let's see. So you can think about 2 and 3 fourths as 2.75. Uh, so 3 minus 2.75 would be 2.25 pi. Or equivalently, that would be 1 fourth pi or pi over 4. Okay, and again, if you don't like this, you know, if you don't like the decimal argument, um, you can rewrite this as 3 over 1 pi. Uh, we could rewrite this, we can turn this back into 11 over 4 pi. You could multiply top and bottom of the first fraction by 4. That would give you 12 pi over 4 minus 11 pi over 4 which again would give you pi over 4. So sometimes figuring, you know, dealing with all the pi's and the fractions can be enough to throw people off. So uh, just kind of try to be careful with the arithmetic there, obviously. Um, so let's do our other ones as well here. Um, I think we said negative 8 over 3 pi was our next one. So I'm going to do the same thing. Um, 3 goes into, so forget about the negative for a second. 3 goes into 8 two times. Um, I believe you'd have two as a remainder. So we can write negative eight-thirds as negative two and two-thirds pi. Well again, if we go negative two pi, that would take us clockwise. So that would be the angle negative two pi radians. Um, and then we have to go another two-thirds. Okay, um, let's see, maybe the easiest way to do this um, if we made it to the bottom uh, of, of the uh, y-axis, we would have gone another half pi. So that would be negative 2 and 1 half pi. That would now put us at the uh, our negative y-axis. 
if we were to go all the way to the uh, the x-axis, that would be negative 3 pi. Well, negative 2 and 2 thirds would have to be somewhere in between there. Okay, so this will be the angle negative 2 and 2 thirds pi. And again, what we're trying to do is we're just trying to find this angle in between. So what I'm going to do is, again, I'm just going to think, you know, had we gone uh, all the way, that would have been 3 pi in a sense, if you want to think about distances, um, 2 and 2 thirds pi. We can simply subtract those, 3 pi minus 2 and 2 thirds pi. Well, 3 minus 2 and 2 thirds would simply leave you with 1 third, or equivalently, pi over 3 is our reference angle. Let's see, one more, negative 3 pi over 4 was our last one here. Um, so this one, well, let's do one more. So we're trying to figure out the reference angle for negative 3 pi over 4. Again, if we had gone to the bottom, uh, that would be negative pi over 2 radians. If we had gone halfway around, uh, you know, sort of one revolution, halfway of one revolution, that would be negative pi radians. So negative 3 pi over 4 is going to be somewhere in between there. Um, should be sitting down here in quadrant 3. So this would be the terminal ray of the angle negative 3 pi over 4. And again, all I'm really trying to do is sort of find this, uh, this angle here in between there. So again, I'm just going to make them both positive. I'm going to take pi radians minus 3 pi over 4. Well, if I get common denominators, I could multiply top and bottom of my first fraction by 4. That would give me 4 pi minus 3 pi, or 1 pi over 4. So again, we would say now that pi over 4 is the reference angle for negative 3 pi over 4.